Welcome back, guys. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Need you guys to subscribe to the channel for me. It shows that you're watching these videos. Please watch my videos all the way through. And um, let me know if there's any videos you guys want me to make. Give me feedback about what you guys, um, direction you want the channel to go in. Anything you guys have for me, uh, please let me know. Um, other than that, let's get into the video. In this video, I'll show you guys how to easily mirror text. Easily mirror any text that you um, put in Inkscape, um, whether it's mirroring it left to right, top to bottom. Um, this will be a very easy process, an easy video to follow. So let's get started. When you have a text, you just, um, I just put that up there, but I can delete this. And for this uh, example, we'll use a bold font. type it out and then I'll just choose like um, impact is a nice bold font so we'll use impact for this and see we have our text here and we're using the word mirror just symbolically dealing with what we're doing so you have your text and your text is in the proper upright condition and you want to mirror it where it says mirror uh, going backwards as well as going forward. So what you do is you have one layer of text. Just click on the text, make sure it's highlighted, and hit Control D. And if you saw the blinking, it looks like it, um, the text blinked. That was actually it duplicating itself. So now you have two of the same thing. And then you can just hit Control Z to go back if you make any mistakes or if you move something you don't want to move. And now we actually have two selections of that. So the one on top is the one that's highlighted normally unless you're unless you've done something to select the lower la lower layer layer. Sorry. To get to the top layer and make sure you have the top layer, you can just click off of it, click back on it. If you want to get to a layer that's below another layer without altering the layer that you're the top layer or moving it to um, if it's uh, perfectly centered to another layer you simply hit control hold down control and then you're going to uh, left click and if you look down where it says fill and stroke you'll tell the difference especially if the uh, layer at the bottom is a different color and to show you that I've selected a different layer I'm going to click on the color and I click the different color and if you see down here this color has changed from black to the red color that I selected yet this color here did not change but that layer is the red layer is below this one and that layer is the one that's selected and to show that it's selected you come you can come up here to uh, array selection one step and that'll raise it up one layer which will put that red layer on top by clicking that and then if you click again you can down you can click it to the bottom so that's how you can tell and in order to I'm going to raise this layer red back up to the top and as you see if I click off and then click on it again the red layer is now on top so to get to the bottom layer the black layer under that we're simply going to just hit control hold down control and then click on the layer the top you just click on the red one and now the black one is selected if you can see down at the bottom so if you want to alter that one if you want that one back to the top you just go here and then you do raise selection one step page up or the page up button on your keyboard and now we have that back so what I'm going to do is um, get that red layer back and then we're just going to make both of these black for the sake of this um, tutorial now we're going to mirror these two so now you still have two layers you still have two layers control Z undoes whatever you do wrong and so the top layer we're just going to that layer is selected and what we're going to do to get this mirrored is we're going to flip just we're going to click off of it to make sure we don't have both of them selected you only want to select one 
click on the top layer and then we're going to go here where it says flip selected objects horizontally which means left to right and vertical is up and down or yeah so we click that one time and already we have already mirrored that so to get the effects of the mirror we're going to now drag a box click left click and drag a box over the entire thing now you have both selected And the way that you can tell you have both selected is if you look down here where it says fill and stroke, this was blank before. But when you have multiple objects, this M will pop up. And that M stands for multiple. So that lets you know that you have more than one object selected. So we have two selected. And now that we have two selected, we confirm that we have two selected. To get this mirrored, all we have to do is go over here we need to get our align toolbox uh, opened up so um, it's usually on your tab bar and if you go down and you see this thing that looks like um, like a pie like a graph a graph chart um, logo it's this align and distribute objects or you can hit control shift a to pull it up and what we want to do while we have it selected we're going to choose from the relative to drop down box last selected this means that whatever the last thing that you selected everything is going to reference off of that so however that one is set up everything else will work in accordance to that one being the one you want everything to line up to so our bottom text which is the normal text so this this is going to the so the top text is going to work based off of what the bottom text location will be. So having both of them selected, you're going to go here to where it says align right edges of object to the left edge of anchor. And the anchor is on the bottom, always on the last selected, which is in this case the bottom one. And so it's going to move this into this area. So by clicking that, we get the word mirror, and then we get the word mirror mirrored on the other side of this. And then we can actually do this a different way. I hit Control Z to go back um, to where I was. And in this instance, we're going to do a mirroring up and down. So to do this, we're going to select, get off of this, then reselect the top one. And then we're going to go to this, flip selected objects vertically, and click that. Now the top layer is now upside down. So Control Z to put that back in place. Then we're just going to make sure we have both of them selected. And then on our align um, and distribute tab, we're going to go to the bottom right where it says align top edges of the object to the bottom edge of the anchor. So this one will actually go down here. And if you click that, you'll see a mirror where now you have your mirror upside down. And guys, that is basically the easiest way to do this. It's, it's a very simple process, depending on how you want it. If you want mirror on top and then the flip at the bottom, you're going to do um, this one, align bottom edges of the objects to the uh, top edge of the anchor. If you want it the opposite way, mirror at the bottom and then the other at the top, you make sure you have both of them selected and you click it this way. So the normal way of mirroring would be this way. And you can also make them even and then mirror in different ways. But you can play with these guys and you can get a lot of results. Um, and a lot of different techniques you can learn 
and apply those to your designs. So that was it, guys. I hope you guys watch all my videos all the way through. Um, I need you guys to subscribe. Helps help the channel. Um, once I'm at a thousand subscribers, guys, you guys can uh, you don't have to really subscribe. But this is something that YouTube requires. So that's why I'm trying to get to that point. If it wasn't for the, the stringent rules that YouTube has put on because of different reasons over the past couple years, then I would not even ask you guys to subscribe because I don't like to ask for anything. I like for things to be given to me genuinely because I earned them, not because I stuck my hand out and had to keep begging uh, people to reciprocate a fraction of what I'm giving them. Um, but again, guys, this has been a video on how to mirror text in Inkscape. Check out my other videos. I have tons of videos. All my subscribers, I have um, put them in my videos so that they can get the honor they deserve. And that's about it. See you guys on the next video.